guys, it's Ariana. Welcome back to my channel. So for tonight's video, we are doing a review on this lovely wig that I just got in the mail from... I have hair in my mouth. This is why I don't wear lip gloss, guys. From the brand Lush Wigs. So I have ordered off of this website before in the past and I knew um, what to expect. So I was not really expecting this wig to be anything other than what I've already experienced. So I ordered this off of their website about three weeks ago and it arrived within a week or yeah, about a week, a week and a half or so of ordering it. So even with the pandemic that's going on, the shipping was very quick and it was very fast and it was very, very easy for me to order this wig. I got this wig as soon as they announced it. Um, I actually contacted them on Instagram and asked them if they could put one of these wigs on hold for me because I definitely wanted it and was looking for this exact wig for a very long time. And unfortunately, when they launched these wigs, um, I knew they were gonna go really quickly and I didn't get paid until like two days prior and I don't like to dip into my savings account and I had spent too much money on Starbucks, I don't know. Um, so I messaged them and I asked them if they could put one on hold for me and they actually did. And they emailed me back right away or messaged me back right away and told me to just purchase it and then um, when it gets to the PayPal screen, just exit it and go back to their webpage. That way they could see that um, I was gonna purchase it and then they could lock that purchase in. And then on Thursday, when I got paid, they just sent me the link to purchase it. So that's what I did and that was really awesome. So shout out to Lush Wigs, that's really amazing. I'm very, very thankful that you guys did that for me because these did sell out really quickly. Um, I'm not too sure if they are going to be restocking or what's the, the deal going on with them, but I do know when I checked the website to post in my last video, my pumpkin video, when I was putting it in the link, I did notice that they were out of stock. So hopefully that they do um, restock soon because they are really awesome wigs and I really like the color um, scheme for Halloween. I love that there's the bright orange, neon orange side and the black side. I think that is awesome. So to get into a little bit about the wig, it is a really, really nice wig. It's very long, so if I stand up, you can see it is a very long wig. It is very thick. It's like, it has a lot of hair in it, so I haven't noticed that I can see any of the wig cap or anything showing through, which is very standard for Lush wigs. I already knew that I liked these wigs, so this is a little bit of a biased review. There is a few cons, though, that I would like to point out with these wigs. I don't particularly like how easy they are to tangle, so I've brushed this wig out a couple times and it's already starting to tangle. So if you're ordering a really long styled wig, it's going to tangle pretty easily and that's just what I've experienced with most wigs. So that's nothing against Lush wigs in particular, it's just if you order a long style, it probably will tangle a little bit. Another thing that I don't particularly like about these wigs is they do shed really, really badly in the beginning, which again is kind of standard for a lot of the wigs that I've ordered off of other websites as well. So I've ordered off of Wig is Fashion and Lush wigs and those Basically, the hair feels exactly the same off of both websites. They both shed really, really, really badly in the beginning of ordering these wigs and then gradually they stop shedding. You can also get something like a knot setter that you can line the wig cap with and it will stop it from basically shedding so badly. It's called a weft sealer or a knot setter. You just take your wig off. You basically just like use the little brush that it comes with, if I can open this thing. This is very old. It comes with a brush inside. It's kind of very similar to like nail polish and you just go over where the hair and the weft is and you just seal it into place. There is instructions and directions on the back of the bottle. You can order these on Amazon and stuff. I got this at a wig store, a local wig store that I went to before. I was really into wigs. It was probably the first time I ordered a wig. I went there just because I had a Charisma wig off of Amazon and it was shedding really badly. So this is an option you can get if you do get a wig off of online that is a little bit more of a shedder. These wigs in particular do shed. I noticed in the beginning that it was shedding really badly. It has stopped pretty much shedding now though. I've worn it twice now and on the second wear that I'm wearing it right now, it's not really shedding. Only when I go to brush it does it really shed at all. Like you can see little pieces of hair here that it's come out. And that's the thing that I don't particularly want happening with my wig because unlike your head, the wig hair isn't gonna grow back. So it kind of sucks and it's a bummer when a wig does shed. Other than that, I do think that these wigs are really nice. It comes with two clips on the side here. So I have it clipped down here and here. And I don't believe it comes with one in the back. Usually for the wigs that I order, it comes with a clip in the back, but I think that clip is actually right here, which I don't particularly like because I don't actually know how to fasten that one down. I would much prefer it to be in the back so that I can fasten it at the nape of my neck. But that's just another personal preference that I like for wigs. I do think that these wigs are really, really comfortable. It's really pretty. If I take it off for you guys and show you, so I'm 
wearing a wig cap. It did come with a wig cap. Unfortunately, the one that they sent me though was really, really tight, so I didn't end up using it. It's just sitting over there. I might have to stretch it out a bit because they are just nylon. It's just very, very tight. So it comes with the standard two clips on the side here and here, and then one clip in the front, which again, I really don't know how to use this clip. I would prefer it being in the back. So Lush Wigs, if you're watching, change that. <laughs> I mean, that's just my personal preference. I really don't know how to use this clip in the front. <laughs> Maybe I could YouTube it, but whatever. It also comes with the little straps on the inside of it so that you can fasten it to however big your head is. I usually don't fasten that because I don't usually need to. I don't wear wigs very much out of my house. I usually just wear wigs for videos or makeup looks I'm doing. If I do wear it out of the house, you can do something like spirit gum to keep the lace like stuck to your skin so that it's a little bit more real. But again, I don't really care and I'm lazy. So when I put on a wig, I usually just put it on like this. I pop it down so that it's covering my wig cap and then I fasten, I find the clips on the side and I fasten it here and I fasten it here and then my wig is secured so again like I said you can use spirit gum so that the lace is stuck to your face so it looks a little bit more natural and real and it's a little bit more secure if you were to wear it out but when I go out wearing wigs I usually just have a hat on and it usually stays on my head <laughs> I really haven't had very many problems when I'm wearing wigs out of the house but again I really don't wear wigs that often when I'm not like making a video. I will say I do think that the hair on this particular wig is very realistic looking. The hairline is really nice. The lace is really nice. I cut off the lace obviously before I did this video. I don't usually do that on my channel just because I don't really know what I'm doing when I cut off the lace so I just did that off camera. But I do think that the hairline and the part looks pretty real. There is some things that you can do obviously to make it look even more realistic. I usually just don't do that so that's just me in particular. If I have a wig that doesn't really look that realistic and I can't wear it out of the house without it looking really odd, I usually just throw in a hat, a toque, a beanie, whatever. This particular wig, I wouldn't really need to do that. I might accessorize it, but it's not a necessary thing that I need to do just because the hairline does look pretty real. But other than that, I would say that this wig is really nice. The lace feels really nice. It hasn't really been itchy at all. I haven't noticed anything super annoying with wearing this wig. It feels great. So Lush Wigs is a UK wig fashion brand. So they ship worldwide and it is a little bit expensive to ship from the UK to Canada. So this wig retailed for $54 and when it's transferred over to Canadian, it was about $88. So it was closer to about $90 once everything was said and done with shipping. So it was a very expensive wig. I do think it was definitely worth it. It's a very pretty wig. It feels really nice. The wig quality is really nice. The hair quality is really nice. And I definitely recommend it if you're looking for a split down the middle black and orange wig for Halloween. The hair feels absolutely amazing. There is other wigs that I've ordered in the past where the hair quality has been really bad and I've not been impressed. One of the brands in particular was Webster Wigs. They are known for being really amazing hair quality and really amazing wigs and the one wig that I did order just don't wear it because I hate the quality of the hair and it was like 250 Canadian and I'm so disappointed with that wig it was the so toxic green toxic wig I'll post a photo here of the wig it's just the quality of the hair feels absolutely horrible and a lot of the curls fell really quickly and I couldn't recurl them because it just wasn't taking the curls literally wouldn't curl and I I don't know it was a whole ordeal but that is my most expensive wig and a wig that I regret because the quality of the hair feels horrible. But I do think that this wig feels really great. It looks really great and I'm very impressed with how their customer service was. They were very friendly. They were very easy to get a hold of and they helped me order this wig with absolutely no problems. So thank you so much again to Lush Wigs for helping me with that and putting one on hold for me because I definitely wanted this wig. And I was gonna order this wig off of Wig is Fashion. They had an exact version of this but it was a wavy or curly style and I ordered it, I paid for it, and then upon shipping, they emailed me and told me that they ran out of the wig and I couldn't get it for four to five months and asked me if I wanted to wait. And I was like, no, I don't wanna wait, I need it for Halloween. And so they refunded me and now it's back in stock. 
a month later, it's back in stock. That's why I was very happy when Lush put this on their website because I was like, well, I'm not ordering from Wiggas Fashion. If you guys have the exact wig that I want, I don't care if it's straight rather than a curly style. I'll just order from you guys because I know that you guys are reliable. So I didn't order from Wiggas Fashion and I ordered from Lush and I'm very happy that I ordered from Lush because their wig quality is awesome and their customer service was great. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below for more content like this and I will see you guys at the next video. Bye!